used to do mushrooms a lot and i i told that i told a couple of stories when i was on the last time i was here but you know that it used to be a part of our our journey man like we'd get on stage mushrooms and like just go on the ride yeah um after a while i couldn't do it anymore i couldn't like be on stage and and be totally in the melt we call it where it's mm. like where it's above micro it's above moderate like right. you're a full melt right <laughs> as they say and, uh. and it was harder for me to be in front of people doing that because i had like these these issues deeply rooted that i was angry about and every time i got to that place that's what i focus on and i didn't want to feel that ugliness so i waited mm. till i got over whatever that that issue was and then i started you know slowly doing mushrooms again microdosing first and then moderate and i started feeling good about it again and i realized how much you know it actually helped me push away from whatever that issue was when i did it the first time yeah just something you were focusing on right like yeah i was you just needed to work out yeah i often say if you're if you're going to try mushrooms beyond micro yeah right like try to deal with whatever issues you got before you go in and have a friend there to help you like to be in the world there with <laughs> yeah. you you know that's what everybody used to use a sitter that was the, yeah. always the big thing if you if you did mushrooms you should have a sitter you know in in uh in a, the best case scenario you would have qualified professionals that would assist in psychedelic therapy which right. which is what happens for a lot of people you know i know people that have done that in other states where it's legal or illegal and where it's legal, I mean, it's amazing. You can go to a place and someone who understands the experience and knows what to do can yeah. help you through it. And I know people that have made some big breakthroughs in their life and just really just sort of reassessed how they interface with the world because of that. Yeah, man. I mean, if you could find something that would help you get past whatever is, is um, you know, holding you back or troubling you, weighing you down, man, I mean better than t taking any of these over-the-counter drugs for that that might suppress those feelings or thoughts then have you deal with them and get past them yeah well that kind of thinking is why it's going to stay illegal <laughs>